Want to improve your relationship with e-commerce customers? We're going to talk today about how to improve your e-commerce customer retention. A few things we're going to look at in today's video are how to get customers wanting to create an account, collecting data but only what customers don't mind providing, building out email marketing, improving the end of a customer's buying experience, and focusing on the brand. Hi, I'm Markeisha, and we have a lot to cover. So let's get started. When talking about customer retention, it always includes the cliche that it's cheaper to get your existing customers to make an additional purchase than to find a new customer. What if we approach this from a different angle? Customer retention is important because research shows it is easier to set up the tools to keep an existing customer than it is to build marketing campaigns to replace existing customers with new ones. Today, we are talking about how to do just that. And we will find that customer retention is not that hard to do. In fact, one thing that is nice about customer retention is that there is a lot you will be able to automate from web forms and checkout processes to emails and return support. But we're jumping ahead of ourselves. Before we get into all of that and fire up your CRM and other tools, let's chat about some best practices and thoughts on what your customers need from you to become return buyers. It all starts with creating an account. If you want customers to stick around, you have to give them a reason to. You need something tangible to entice people to want to create an account with you. In the short term, say for the first sales, one best option is to give people an option to create an account early on during checkout. This appeals to many customers because they want to track their orders as it progresses. This allows not only for better tracking, but also verification and order interactions. It makes it simple to allow the customers to follow their purchase from start to finish. Once a customer sets up an account to stay relevant as a company to them, provide consistent benefits like chat, perks, and conversation. This is where you have conversations and turn those chats into real genuine relationships. These can start with what you yourself would want from a brand you like, such as new product announcements, only when they're relevant to you, discounts, coupons, or free shipping, rewards for purchases and activity, exclusive deals throughout the year just for being a subscriber, thank you notes. Let's focus on that last one. Thanking your customers once a year is a great way to build a relationship and grow your outreach. You can show appreciation to them, not only for making a purchase, but for other interactions like sharing your products. Take a few moments to tell them they are appreciated. Time for the next step. You might be asking yourself, what information do you really need from a customer to be able to offer support or create a customer account? Of course, you'll need the basics. You can gather the customer's name, address, email and phone number, especially if you need to connect in case something goes wrong with the order. However, is it really necessary to gather information about how they heard about the brand or ask them for suggestions? If you have a good CRM tool, not really. In fact, studies found that 67% of visitors will stop filling out a form if it gets too complicated or has an error. Collect only the information you really need. Let your CRM do the heavy listening and connect things such as viewing habits, and your customers will thank you for a short form. On the screen is an example of a JotForm registration template. These tools make it easy to adjust as needed or to run multiple forms on your website. For the client questionnaire, like the one we just saw, you will want to do an A-B test to determine how much data to collect. Why? Because case studies show content matters. If it's an expensive purchase or high shipping costs are involved, the customers are more likely to want a longer form or multiple forms. However, these circumstances are less common with e-commerce, so your best bet is to keep it short. Simple rule, make it easy to fill out the forms. It really helps with the process without customers getting frustrated. Now that you've created forms, it's time to use the data you've collected. Email is a great tool. It will and always has been one of the easiest ways to reach out to customers and build those relationships. 
Emails are a great way to deliver thank yous and greetings, as well as welcome new customers and share information about existing orders. Email is a fast and reliable method for both upsells and cross-sells. It uses your customer's data and pushes personalized and relevant products. HubSpot has a great guide to these selling opportunities, including how you can demonstrate value and make a compelling case based on customer preferences, all through email. Another big benefit of email marketing is that you can do more than just sell. I mean, after all, part of the overall retention plan is keeping customers eager and engaged. Email does this by letting you track things like clicks and opens. It even shows if it led to a purchase. Email programs are smart and can show if all anyone does is open an email. Give them a reason to read and click by sending them a quick hello or send a coupon to encourage them to do more. This is especially true for holidays or birthdays. While reaching out with forms and emails, what about the physical package? The actual steps of the buying process? It turns out that delivery and returns are the most decisive parts of a customer's retail experience. Get these right and ensure you leave the customer with a good last impression of your company. Shipping in particular is of utmost importance to customers. They want things delivered cheap and fast, usually around two to three days, and they want to be told the charges right away. So no hiding things until the last possible second or having phantom shipping fees that aren't explained. Often for an e-commerce business, to guarantee success, this may mean you have to partner with an e-commerce fulfillment company. The right partner gets packages to people anywhere and can help you sell on Amazon or on your own. Partnering with someone established also gives you access to policies and processes that are designed to make your shipping easier. This gets you access to reduced shipping rates and better options when your partner negotiates with bigger carriers. In the end, the customer gets their product on time and relates it back to your brand. What about the dreaded world of returns? Customers want a purchase to be easy and they expect the same with returns. For example, for more than a decade, the Zappos brand has offered extensive return options that allow customers a lot of freedom. A policy like that keeps customers happy. And this may sound crazy, but the most profitable customers are actually the ones who return the most. Supporting returns has become much easier for business. With the right partner or warehouse systems, the return products can quickly go back to inventory and be used for future orders. There are also tools that generate return labels for customers while still offering you great shipping prices. Finally, what makes you unique? One thing that often gets lost is, why is your brand unique and compelling? Let's wrap up with this one thing that often gets lost. Ask yourself, why do customers buy from you in the first place? Retention is all about extending that reason and the feeling it created. It covers how your first order is delivered, your message with each additional purchase, deals, discounts, and greetings along the way, something that made people want to buy from you in the first place. Your goal is to keep that feeling alive from start to finish, and it covers transparently defining your brand. If you aren't sure about these things, you can ask your customers directly. If customers like your transparency and simplicity, ensure that customer support feels the same way, or do they like the product quality? Customers bought from you because there was something they liked. Now keep them coming back for more. All right, let's recap. In today's video, we discussed the following. Giving the customers a good reason to create an account. Collecting data, the how and the what. Building out email marketing. Improving the end of the experience like delivery and returns. Focusing on the brand. I hope you learned a little something from this video. I enjoyed our time together today and look forward to seeing you next time. If you have any questions about customer retention or other business topics, check out jotform.com. Until next time, I'm Markeisha. Thanks for watching.